Hello everyone. The key objective of this lecture is to motivate the need and usefulness of second law of thermodynamics. Let us understand this by an example. Consider a vessel filled with fluid and a paddle wheel placed inside it. And let us supply 10 joule of external work through paddle wheel. As the paddle wheel rotates, the molecules get kinetic energy and 10 joule of heat will be added to the fluid medium. Think about a case. Is it possible to convert back this 10 joule of heat energy into 10 joule of pedal wheel work? And the answer would be yes as far as first law of thermodynamics is concerned, which states energy can be transformed from one form to another but can be neither created nor destroyed. So here we are talking about conversion of 10 joule of heat energy into 10 joule of work energy. But in reality this conversion is not possible even though this process satisfy the first law of thermodynamics. First law of thermodynamics gives you the quantitative measurement or magnitude of energy transfer but it does not say anything about the direction in which process will occur. Due to this limitation of first law the second law came into the picture which provides the information about the direction of natural processes. Second law is most important law of nature and physical science. This law puts the directional constraint to the natural processes. There is no specific statement of second law of thermodynamics. And one more interesting truth is second law is expressed in many ways but originated from the same principle of directional constraint on the natural processes. And as a matter of day-to-day -day experience, spontaneous or any natural processes always occur in a certain direction. Let us understand this by a conventional example. Consider a cup of coffee which is at 70 degrees Celsius and placed in atmosphere which is at 30 degrees Celsius. Here heat will flow from cup of coffee to the atmosphere. Hence spontaneously internal energy of hot coffee will decrease and the internal energy of atmosphere will increase. But inverse of this process would not take place spontaneously. Even though energy could be conserved or that process could satisfy first law of thermodynamics. Because equilibrium between system and surrounding will not be achieved in this case. And the equilibrium of any system is the basic idea behind second law of thermodynamics. When any system left to them, it tends to undergo the spontaneous change until a condition of equilibrium is achieved internally and as well as with the surrounding. In some cases, equilibrium is achieved very quickly. For example, in few minutes ice melts into water. In some cases, equilibrium is achieved very slowly. Like rusting of iron bar will take up to 10 years. Everything in this world is leaning towards the disordered state or disorganized state. In the reference of second law of thermodynamics, spontaneous conversion of organized form of energy into disorganized form of energy is possible. But spontaneously it is impossible to convert disorganized state of energy into organized energy. Now let's get back to the previous example of pedal wheel. As we are aware that work is well organized form of energy and heat is disorganized form of energy. So here in this example conversion of 10 joule of heat into 10 joule of work is not possible. 
Thank you. Post your queries in comment section below and if you like this video, please hit the like button and share this video and subscribe to our channel.